What's up, Raider Nation? Right now, we're going to talk about the keys to victory or how to get a dub and continue a win streak against the Denver Broncos. They haven't beat us since 2019. And, um, you know, take our talents to mile high. Oxygen tank as well, because, you know, up there, you know. Other than that, you know, big keys is getting healthy, man. I just seen the injury report yesterday. Parham, of course, um, Michael Mayer is still dealing with personal issue. Cody Miller didn't practice, but then he came out of practice right now, as they're practicing right now. Um, big one is Dylan Parham. His Achilles, they said he could have played, could have finished the game last week against the Browns, but that's going to be a key because he's been our best offense alignment in, you know, in the struggling offensive line. He's been the best pass blocking, run blocking. He's been the best, and he started since getting drafted by the Raiders every game so far. He's been a Raider. So that's one big thing to keep an eye on. He did not practice today. He didn't He didn't practice yesterday. So we'll look forward to Friday. But uh, I'll say more he's on the doubtful side as they treat the Achilles. You know, who knows what it really is. I'm dealing with one right now. So I know how hard it is if it's his, his worst. Another thing to look forward to is how this team moves forward without Devontae Adams. And we've seen last week what this offense can do. You know, spread the ball around, run it. And another injury too is um Zamir White his has a growing injury did not practice yesterday or today same thing with Diablo our linebacker so I do expect um Alexander Madison to get a boatload of carries which is not surprising because AP came out after the win last week and said he's deserved more touches and he will get more touches and we see AP say that before about other positions other players and he holds true to that so Madison if you have him on fantasy start him this week um, big game from him, I expect, and he's been running the ball clearly better than um Samir White. I just be I just feel like Samir White, um, you know, the scheme new to him, young player. I wanted um say that he doesn't fit the scheme. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes it takes time to develop, especially his first year being a starting running back. But yeah, we'll just wait and see. And then of course Gardner Minshew me meshing with these receivers, Luke Getzey, see if we could put a whole fourth four quarters of good offense together and continue this defense, you know, this defense, you know, that's what keeps us in game. That's what's been winning on this games. And, you know, they've been struggling Bo Nix, but I know they want revenge because they haven't beat us since 2019 and keep an eye on Max Crosby. He said on his podcast that if they let him play, if it's up to him, he's going to play. AP came out, said we got to do our best to protect him, Max. And I just see it like last week. Of course, if it was up to Max, you'll be playing every game no matter what. But at the end of the day, you got to protect your best player. And if the trainers and doctors come out and say, wait another week, I think Crosby will not play. But it's a 50-50 chance right now. But to me, it's getting him healthy for the back stretch of the season. Because this injury was, I think, from uh, like uh, four to six weeks, they said, or even two to six weeks. So, And it wasn't a good uh, ankle sprain. It was a high one. So not good at all. But other than that, We'll see how we do, you know. Big, big game. Big divisional game. We could go two and three or three and two, and we want to be three and two. Max Crosby, huge loss, but we've seen other players step up. Chris Snowden, even Ty uh, Tyree Wilson, you know, and, you know, Janaris Robinson and Christian Wilkins, that big offseason signing stepping up for us. We just have to see on Sunday how it goes and hopefully come out mile high with the big W and then come back to the crib and handle the Steelers. But other than that, what do you guys think, Raider Nation, about this Sunday's game? Let me know and thank you. Peace out.